right, that's there it, it, isn't it? Yeah, that's the transporter bridge. Opened in 1906. Yeah? Yeah. Has dominated the Newport skyline ever since. And it's one of only six operational transporter bridges left worldwide from a total of 20 constructed. What's it do then? Transports. Ow. Oh. Well, there's a visitor's sent. Well, actually, it said visitor turn center. right for the transporter oh. bridge. Right. As <laughs> usual, I'm in the wrong lane. So that's the transporter bridge. And have a look at it. Well, inevitably, the visitor centre's closed and they're looking for volunteers to come and promote their iconic bridge. So Newport separated into east and west sides by the river Usk. And the Usk is difficult to cross with fast flowing currents created by one of the largest tidal ranges in the world. So Newport's first bridge, the Town Bridge, was built in 1100s and it was located upstream where the river narrowed and the banks rose. An important crossing point, the Tower Bridge, was guarded by Newport Castle and used to collect tolls and taxes. And so during the Industrial Revolution, coal and iron poured through Newport and the valleys to the north. Newport's foundries roared, docks heaved and people bustled with the influx of workers. And at the start of the 1800s, Newport's population numbered over 1,000. By 1900, it was 67,000. So they needed uh, a new way of crossing. So you can see how it works. It's like a platform that gets carried along the gantry over there to the other side. It comes from here. Yeah, quite a quite, quite construction. Whoa, oh, cold. So, parliamentary approval to build the bridge was sought and secured in 1900 and work began in 1902. And the interesting thing is that the bridge cost 98,000 to complete and was opened on September the 12th, 1906 by Lord Tregega of Tregega. Tregega. Of Tregega House. Yeah. Right, because it was an economical solution, wasn't it? As tunnelling was technically difficult and yeah. expensive, yeah. and a conventional bridge required a very long approach ramp to gain enough height to maintain a waterway for the tall ships of the day. Yeah, it's only a little platform that they go across. I'm absolutely fro frozen. <laughs> you nearly got run over. I nearly well. got run over on that <laughs> crossing there just now. Someone didn't stop. Just did didn't they? stop for the, uh, the the red light. Just carried that's on going. That's the second time that's nearly happened to us because that happened in Carlisle, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Someone just <laughs> coming. Oh. Oh. We're not going over on the transporter then. It's closed. So. It's closed, so we can't. No. Notice they've got a Bursner Lyceo M690G, which I believe Andrew Ditton's going to be going away in soon, isn't he? Yeah. 
this week. Is it this yeah, week? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. And Switzerland or something. He's just picked it up, hasn't he? Yeah. And to Switzerland, in it. I think you have to ask to view, so I don't think we're going to get get in there. I think they're all locked, aren't they? Yeah. yeah reversing camera. It's fairly big garage area on it. Wheels are set quite a way back, so it's quite it's quite wide. Well, on the Mercedes chassis, I think yeah. the wheels are set quite a way back. You've got a big uh, over cab, Contiki six nine nine. Elf. That's big, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Makes ours look like a little tiddler, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Yeah, just bought some bits and pieces. Quite a nice parts department in there. I didn't want to film in there, but there's a lot of people in there. But we noticed over here. Is this one? Yeah. They've got last year's model 574 which is a, a better car, so it's a, basically identical to ours as a better car. But this is six... what was it? It was 64, it's now 54. So, yeah. Yes, uh, still some bargains to be had, aren't they? Definitely. Yeah. And this presumably would be on the older engine, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's not ad blue. So, very similar to ours. Probably, probably identical to ours, but as a better car. Yeah. Fifty-four. What was it? Fifty-four thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the uh, a new Contiki Sport five eight four. So that's a French bed lounge layout. And it's a six B engine. It's a keen to put on, and that's sixty eight nine nine five. Yeah, so it's a lounge model with a French bed, so similar to ours, but French bed. Yeah, French bed, rear bathroom. 599. So it's next to it is a 599. 599 sold, not Yeah, and again it's a 6B. Yeah. So a 6B engine, 599, uh, 6, sorry, 68995. 599. 2020 model. Exactly the same. Same. Same, same upholstery as we've got. Oh, the toilet's midships, isn't it? Yeah. And a rear lounge. Yeah, rear. No, it's a rear bed. Not rear. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, so 72,000. This is a 596. So this is the rear lounge one. Again on a 6B. So it's amazing how many 6B engines they're still around. Yeah, yeah. If you don't want to pay that stupid tax. Better get down to Newport Caravans. Yeah. Anyone to think I'm working for them, aren't they? <laughs> It just happened to be passing, yeah, but yeah. I've, I've actually signed on for them now. <laughs> Is that like our camera? Yeah, yeah. it's the same, same as our camera. Yeah. So they must have had a lot of stock of the 6B engines. Yeah. I wonder if it would be the same at the show. Shopping centre, isn't it? Called Friars Walk. Friars Walk, yeah. Beware. Watch your speed. Oh, give over. I'm doing about 20. There's the castle over there. There's the castle, right. Yeah. Quite an 
impressive bridge. Yeah. No idea where I'm going here. Built the railway around it, didn't it? Yeah. Through it. Right, I finally spent my Marks and Spencer's vouchers. I actually spent a bit more than a Marks and Spencer's voucher. You must have told me the wrong thing because I was adding it up as we were going round. You must have told me something wrong. Yeah. So we overspent them, didn't we, slightly? Only a bit. Only twenty pounds. But it's absolutely a huge um, retail park here, isn't there? I think just about every town's got one, haven't they? Hmm. But this is um just called Newport Retail Park. Yeah. So there's boots and the usual sort of stuff there. But yeah. Not suspense was okay, wasn't it? Yeah, other stores are available. Are they? So it was a nice big store, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they, they can be a bit small. Yeah. No. It's off the A forty eight, isn't it? Off yeah. that road that seems to go all the way round Newport. Yeah, yeah so we brought the van. Um, really because we, we can keep um, poppy safe in the van and mm. also I need to fuel up mm. <laughs> watch this space <laughs> Interesting bridge, isn't it? All right about them. Huh. Mm. <laughs> Come on. I've just taken Jenny through the undergrowth, through the jungle. Nobody followed us, didn't they? No. Just brings us out the side of the house. We're trying to avoid the muddy paths that way, but uh, we found some muddy paths anyway. Gum pops. Ugh. Speaking of muddy paths, Ugh. over here. Right, that way I think. 